Hi everybody, uh, this is Bus Jockey. Um, I uh, just wanted to show you guys something here on uh, testing methods. Basically, um, using a ohm meter to test the circuit compared to using uh, the regular circuit voltage that goes through a circuit. Okay. Now, if you notice, I got two multimeters here um, hooked up. Um, I've got this meter here on ohms and when you have it on ohms on a circuit you're testing you're per you, you are excuse me putting out so much voltage with your meter to check the resistance of the circuit okay so on the other meter I have here I'm showing how much circuit voltage that this meter is putting into that circuit to check resistance okay so let's go over the other meter look at the voltage I'm going to turn the backlight on now if you see and I get it to focus here a bit it's reading 350 uh, it's millivolts okay um, let's see if I can get that that's eh, not let me try it without the backlight on just a second let's shut off and I'll show it to you Hold on, I'll just do this sorry about that it's gotta wait for the backlight to go off here and then I can prove a point <laughs> sorry come on there we go alright see you on the screen there we go 350.8 millivolts okay so this meter here right here is putting out 350 millivolts okay so think about that all right say you were checking a circuit you know a, a coil circuit for a relay and the wire goes like the length of like 40 feet 60 feet okay yeah, you can use an ohm meter to check that wire. You'd have to ground it at one end, then disconnect the wire at the other end that you're checking and uh, to give you that resistance spec. So let's say, for example, it checked out good, like two-tenths of an ohm, four-tenths of an ohm. Well, that's all fine and dandy. That's basically telling you that the circuit's not broke, but it's not telling you if the circuit can carry a load you could have just one piece of wire together holding that circuit showing you continuity and as soon as you put the proper amount of voltage to the circuit it's not going to carry the load and the voltage is going to drop okay the best way to diagnose a circuit is voltage drop period um, the only time you want to use an ohm meter is when you're testing components that's pretty much it every other time you want to use voltage drop it'll save you a lot of time and frustration so um, for another example um, here I'll put the meter uh, this meter the, to volts let me shut this off and I'm gonna let's see I'm gonna have to switch a couple things let me pause and then we'll be right back